Okay, lawn fans, are you ready? So let's talk about your yard. We are in the middle of spring right now. Temperatures are starting to heat up. Um, here's the lawn right now, but I'm gonna be talking about some other stuff today. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the late frost that we just had come through. Um, here, it was a few weeks ago, and it stunted the lawn, knocked it back into dormancy. It froze the leaves on a lot of plants and shrubs and things, and the leaves fell off. These were pretty much bare along these are azaleas, more pedlums there. Um, all around the lawn, my gardenias lost their leaves, and I have seen a lot of people saying, should I dig these up, are these dead? No. With the heat of the spring and summer coming, just wait. Wait and see if you're gonna start getting little buds. I'm gonna show you an example of little buds coming out on a gardenia. Um, but what I've already done is I've transitioned, like I said, these azaleas, they've already leafed back out. I did not get any flowers off these this year, and some other azaleas out back I did, but here I did not. But what I'm already doing is I'm starting my spring summer treatment. This product I use here, again, I'm not sponsored. I don't promote anything, but I do use this. What you do is you put this into a pail of water. You pour it around the base of the plant, the bush, the shrub, whatever you have. It will absorb through the roots into the stems, um, into the leaves, and it will help to fight off any fungus, um, any type of insect or mite action. Now mites are, if you turn a leaf over, if you're starting to notice the leaf losing its color and it's not holding that green as much as it used to, turn the leaf over and take a look at the backside of it. And if you see a bunch of small little creatures that look like tiny pieces of rice, I mean miniature pieces of rice, then you have mites. So you wanna get something, you wanna thoroughly douse the plant, the shrub, the bush, whatever it is, you wanna douse it. Probably give that two or three applications. You can get that in a hose and a sprayer or you can drench it with something like this, it's a concentrate. Now, something else I've had going on is I've been getting fireweed out back. I've had a pretty good problem with it. Um, I didn't put any pre-emergent out there because if you guys follow my channel, you know that I put out Xenon Zoysia this uh, past fall. So it's still getting its roots down into the ground. And I didn't want to put any type of pre-emergent down that may hinder that progress of the roots digging down into the soil. So I did get a post-emergent being this big box store, weed stop for lawns, and I poured in a surfactant. What does a surfactant do? A surfactant helps give it almost like a glue or an adhesive that will help this product right here stick to any weeds that are back there. Now, that will not work for POA, POANIA. That's what we say down here in South. It won't work for that, but a broad number of other ones. Let's see here. It kills 470 plus weed types as listed and visible results in five hours. So hopefully that's gonna help knock back a lot of that fireweed that I've got. Now, something else I've done with my azaleas, my gardenias, um, I could put it on these ferns that I just put in today. Although I did not, I put a 20, 20, 20 fertilizer on those, but Holly Tone Organic Slow Release Fertilizer is what I put on these. It smells like death. I mean, it's horrible smelling, but it's a slow organic release fertilizer. You put that out and there's no way kind of, it's kind of like a Morganite. You can't, you can't screw that up. Well, you can't screw Holly Tone up. Put that on there and I'm telling you that stuff is a good product. It will help feed the plant throughout the entire summer um, and you get really good results as far as greening up of the leaves. Now let's walk over here and I'm gonna show you my gardenias. I'm gonna give you a good example of how the uh, last freeze we had took all these leaves off, discolored a lot of them, but shoots are starting to come back out on this. And by shoots, I'm gonna try to give y'all a good shot here. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that little bitty shoots are coming out all over this and this will be full of leaves here within the next couple of weeks. Over here, my lower pedlums, I'll show you this, the frost got these. It did not get the tree because I put a huge tarp over the top of this. I learned my lesson last year with that. But these little pedlums, see the leaves are already starting to come back out. Over here, they're coming out if you look down in there. So, um, I'll show you another example of lower pedalums, but I put that holly tone on all the azaleas out back. Um, here, 
here's an example of the four pedalums here that are coming back. But I want to emphasize, do not give up on your bushes and shrubs right now. Wait and see with the warm weather if that'll kick back in the growing system for your plants. Oops, I'll show you the lawn. For your plants and your shrubs before you go and dig up something that may be an eight to 10 year mature plant or bush. And that's my advice on that. Here's the lawn. I think we're the third week in April right now. And she is looking pretty good. She's still got some filming in to do. I don't know if you can see that on the video here, but it's just going to take time for it to fill in. I'm cutting it extremely close. Uh, it's on the last setting of my 20 inch McLean. So we're not talking a greenskeeper close, but it's pretty close. Right here's where I verticutted. I had raised area going down through there. Um, so I've already cutted that down to knock the soil down and it is coming back in nicely. Same thing down through here. I did that. I knocked a, a, law, a high mound down and it is coming in nicely. The thing about Bermuda is you can't really screw it up. This stuff will grow on anything. So that is just about it. A lot of good things going on. Roses coming in. Um, let's see here, Di this Dianthus coming in here too. I treated all this stuff, especially like roses. I treated that with that uh, triple purpose uh, preventative. And down here in South, we get a big problem with June bugs, Japanese beetles, things like that. You'll walk out here and you'll see them down in the buds, eating these things up and they'll eat a plant up in a day. So I did that preventative measure to keep Japanese beetles off of all of my roses. Um, but that's it. If you guys got any questions, advice, feedback, leave it here at the bottom of the video. I appreciate it. Bermuda Brian out.